Hello, hello, and welcome to today's special Easter adventure. I've got a nice Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box, and we'll have to see if the Easter Bunny brought us some golden eggs or maybe some rabbit turds if we're really unlucky. Either way, I'm really excited to get into this box. Now, with a new set, of course, comes a bunch of new cards. And I was looking through, and there's maybe not too, too much that I really want out of this set, but there's still a lot of really nice cards, especially some of these full art cards. Now, in particular, I really like the Starly card, because Starly is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and easily my favorite regional bird. I also really like the Ralts, Curlia, and Gardevoir story cards. I love cards that tell a story like that, and so maybe if I'm really lucky, I'll get one of them, or possibly all three. I guess we'll find out. Now, setting these aside, we'll start opening up our box. Inside, we've got the divider. We've got some nice clicky-clacky dice. We've got all of our booster packs here that we will pull aside for now. We've got these condition marking coins, which look great. Some dividers to divide up our sections in the box if we want to store our cards in there. We've got our bundle of booster cards. These are our, not booster cards, sorry, our bundle of energy cards. These are all just energies in here, which is great to be able to play. We've got our nice promotional cards here, one with a Pokemon Center logo and one without. These are awesome Mirrodon cards. I personally played Pokemon Violet, so I love Mirrodon. We've got our code card. And then we've got these amazing card sleeves. I love the design on them. Now let's set all of these aside so we can make some space to open up our booster packs here. Let's put our Mirrodons aside and get right on in. So maybe you guys have already opened up some Scarlet and Violet packs. I personally haven't, so these are my very first ones. I do know what to watch out for here, because they actually changed the way the packs work. Instead of the previous way of moving four cards from the back up to the front, now you just move one card from the back up to the front so that your energy is up front, and your best card will now be the one back here. So of course we've got our basic energy, Ralts, nice card to see, Growlithe. Shuppet. Tandemouse. I love Tandemouse in the game. Florgus. Muck. Vivillion. Silicobra. Quaxly. And a nice Palmet card. That's a really great design. I like the holographic art. And of course, these new silver borders are really cool as well. We'll jump right into our second booster pack here. And I also really like the art that they've put on the packs themselves. So I think it's a nice, refreshing, I guess, new series of cards. I like what they've done, and I hope that the Paldea Evolved cards are just as good. So we'll set our code card aside, move our energy to the front, and dig right in. We've got Quaxly, Pawniard, Crushing Hammer, Starly, a nice cute card. Katie. Staraptor. Electric Generator. Grievard. Cacnea. And Skeledurge. I love to see it because I did pick Fue Coco. He is my guy. So far, maybe not the best cards, but that's two boosters. I think we've got nine more to go so we have a lot of chance we have a big chance to get something really good here now these packs do feel thicker than before but that doesn't make them any easier to open for me i'm still just as bad as ever but that's okay nobody's perfect we all have our flaws we have another basic energy small live primate Palmy, Tarantula, Dashbun, Tatsugiri, Scovillian, 
Krogunk, Magnemite, and finally, Annihilate. That's a really nice card and a nice holographic. Each pack is guaranteed to at least have one holographic like that in it. It's a compromise they made when they raised the prices of these booster packs since they are a little bit more expensive than before. Now, I would encourage to look out for sales because I think buying things on sale is the best way to do it. That way, if you don't get anything really good, you don't feel as burned. Move our energy to the front. Got our basic energy. Our flittle. Shroomish. Mankey. Who just fell off the desk. Charcadet. Wug Trio. Judge. Floatzel. Another flittle. With the little design. And an Arboliva. My bad. There's a Toxicroak EX. This is a great card. I do love Krogunk and Toxicroak. And didn't expect this. I thought the Arboliva was our last card. Because the video I watched of somebody opening. They actually got two of these in a row. So this is great to see. We will set that aside as one of our best cards. I'm going to take all that we've opened so far and move these out of the way so that way they don't continue falling off the desk into my lap as Shroomish did. No need to worry, no Shroomishes were harmed in the filming of this video. Now we get right into our next pack which opened a little bit easier than before. Maybe I'm just getting better at it. Or maybe not. Put our code card aside. Move our energy to the front. And we'll go through them. Riulu. Magneton. Clodzer. Grievert again. Torkoal. Breloom. Kilowattrel. King Gambit. Energy Search. And a Klefki. This is a really nice looking Klefki card. Moving on to our next booster. After this, it looks like we've got about five to go. So we are pretty well halfway through. Some people have been getting insane pulls from these and some people not so much. As I said in the last video, my luck has never been the greatest. But that's never stopped me from having fun. We've got Capsicid, Potion, Buizel, Energy Retrieval, Miriam, Lucario, Rock Chestplate, Stonjourner, and Jacques. As well as Arboliva, tricking me again. Wouldn't you know it? We get to one of our five to go here. We will struggle to open this as we do all packs, but that's all right. I try to get the little fold right there. Sometimes harder than it seems, but like I said, that's never stopped me from having fun. We put our code card aside, maybe reorganize these little bit so that way they don't fall energy to the front and away we go i know you guys probably already saw Pawniard when i was organizing the cards mashif wiglet don't want those to fall toad's cool credent crocodile flamigo switch not a nintendo switch Youngster. And Jacques again, but a nice full art Jacques. That's a really nice looking card. We'll set that aside with our Toxicroak EX and get right into the next pack. I do like the little starter trio here. I have my little statue in the background there from when I got Scarlet and Violet. What did you guys think of Scarlet and Violet, by the way? Let me know in the comments. I thought it was a really refreshing take on the Pokemon series. Now, as a Generation 4 simp, though, I kind of did like Legends Arceus better, 
but I still thought it was a great step for the series, and I can't wait to see what they do next. So after our basic energy, we've got Lechonk, a very popular Pokemon lately. Slowpoke, Watchrel, Zangoose, Sititan, Team Star Grunt, Zangoose, a nice Lucario, Clauncher, and behind Clauncher is Armorage. Or Armorug. I don't know how to pronounce that actually. Armor Rogue? I think Armor Rogue is probably the best way to go. But my opinion doesn't really matter. <laughs> Whatever pronunciation you want to use is the correct one. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Now, let's see what else we get. Move our energy to the front. And we have Sandile. Houndoom. Fido. Scatterbug. Foratris. A Rocky Helmet, which is actually a really annoying card if you've ever played the trading card game. That's a really good card for you to have, really annoying for your opponent. Mabostiff, Mankey, Dashbun, Howlucha. That's a pretty nice Howlucha. I do like the hollow design again. I know I pointed out the silver borders before, but I still really like them. Now we'll get to our one of two final booster packs here. And after this, I'll have to clean up the mess I've made, but it's a good Easter mess. After all, Easter's all about having fun. But what's not fun is how much I struggle opening these packs. There we go. I think if I got better at opening these packs, these videos would be probably half as long. Put our code card aside. Move our energy to the front. And here we go. Got our basic energy, a Krogunk. Switch again. Curlia. Dedeen. Youngster. Flaffy. Blissey. Dondozo, a nice good card, Nimona, and Professor's Research. Some of you guys I know will simp, but I do not. I'm not a simp for some things. Maybe for others. I am a simp for Gyarados, though. So anyhow, our final booster. We'll see if the Easter Bunny brought us anything more. We will put our code card aside. Put our energy to the front and dig in. Drifloon, Sprigatito, Flittle, Houndour, Oinkalone, Spiritomb, Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, and finally Fido! What a cutie! Oh, hang on, and another Dondozo! That's a great way to end it! I got surprised that there was another Dondozo behind the Fido, but I love the full art Fido. He's just so cute. Our pulls maybe weren't the best here, but that didn't stop us from having fun. We've got two full arts and a nice Toxicroak EX. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. I hope you have some good ones of your own, and I'll see you next time.